Thank you very much for joining us today. Today, we're gonna to continue our series on Sage 100C manufacturing. Today, we're gonna to talk about field service and dispatch. Let's take a look at our agenda. We're gonna start by looking at the dispatch board, and we're gonna discuss how to create service tickets and scheduling from the dispatch board. So here I am in Sage 100C, and I'm in the manufacturing section, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the section for field service. And let's go ahead and take a look at our service dispatch board. So our dispatch board is very similar to our scheduling board that we've talked about in the past, but this is for scheduling service work tickets. And let's take a look at what we have going on here. So. We're looking at today, March 12, 2019. I'm gonna go ahead and change my date here. Let's go ahead and, and hop this over to June 1st, 2017, change my year. So from here, we can go into the future a few days. We can go back a few days. And we can take a look at some of our scheduled work tickets as well. So if we look, go back, uh, let's say the Friday, May 26, as an example. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, our different sections here. So across the top here, we have our technicians. Each technician has a status and some of the statuses are at lunch, available, on vacation, et cetera. This section that is in yellow over here has a list of our service work tickets. It's just a listing, but there is coding here. So the work ticket with the highest priorities have this yellow exclamation point. Work tickets with the lowest priority have this uh, black down arrow. Anything that has normal priority doesn't have anything. We also have alerts over here. So it's telling us for the work tickets, things that it wants to notify us about. Let's go ahead and take a look at this work ticket. So I'm just gonna highlight that and go to the work ticket details. So we're looking at work ticket S2-001. You can see our work ticket class is SSD, which we call field service tickets. Our scheduled hours are 15 hours. And you can see here that all the information about the work ticket. So over here, we also have the, the technician's schedules going on. And if we look at the parts, we can see the parts that might be involved with this work ticket. And the system can also notify us if parts are available on a technician's truck based on the warehouse that they have. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this work ticket. So I'm just gonna highlight it find, and we're gonna go ahead and select that work ticket. So this is work ticket S002, highlight this schedule and say select, and we'll jump to that work ticket. So as you can see here, here's our dispatch board, and we have the work ticket scheduled. Now there's a number of things we can do from here. So first of all, I'm gonna right mouse click and go to service ticket. We can edit the service ticket, this will take us into the service ticket editing screen. We have a main tab that tells us who the customer is, some user defined fields, what the service level is, gold, silver, platinum. We have our service address. We have MapQuest integration here to give us an address. Repair information. So if we have a service agreement with the customer, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, it'll indicate that here, what item is being serviced, if there's a manufacturer serial number, those kinds of things, and additional information. Let's go ahead and close that. And we can look at the sales order, the work ticket entry, and the work ticket inquiry. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the appointment. So we do have an appointment here. So I can edit the appointment, and we can see all the information about the appointment. There's the service ticket number, contact, location, et cetera, and the date that it's scheduled. So this is the basics of the board. 
Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some things here. So Susan's at lunch. Let's go ahead and take her out of lunch. I'm just right mouse clicking here, going to status, and just going to say she's now available. If I look at her calendar, I can see what days she's available. If I look at right mouse clicking again here, edit the technician list, I can see what days that technician is available, things like that. Now, all this is coming from a technician's list that is maintained elsewhere, that is maintained elsewhere, but you can edit this information. But the thing I really wanted to show you here is creating a new service call. So we're gonna create a new call, just with the check of the button. So this could be your dispatcher has the screen open at all the times. So you're just gonna create a new call. Go ahead and assume that it's from this customer and the service call is at this address. And we're gonna go ahead and use the work ticket class field service tickets. So we have the address information. If we have a service agreement on file, we can select that. If we have an item code as part of the service agreement, we can select that. Now, if they don't have a service agreement associated with an item code, we can still select the item code. And if there's a manufacturer serial number, we can select that as well. We can put in codes on what the problem is. So let's just say general state of disrepair. And our solution is to fix that, all of this information, and then we can accept that. And if we go back to our ticket list, we can filter our tickets over here by say, look at unscheduled, and there's our ticket here. And if I wanna schedule it, I just choose schedule and I can drop that into a technician's time slot. So that's how easy it is to schedule a work ticket from the dispatch board. And then you can edit and do things from there. Let's take a look at a couple of other things while we're here as well. We can have service agreements. So if I take a look at our service agreements, let's just say we have this one here. So here's a service agreement that started on January 1st, 2010 and is billed through then, but it ends on this date. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one here. This one ends on this date, service ticket class, et cetera. So you can set up the service agreement and whatever equipment then you're maintaining. So here's the item code, serial number, start date, end date, fixed price, all of that kind of stuff. And you can come down and just go to preventive maintenance, ticket generation. And what this will do, change my dates here, back to June 1st. And let's just change this one to June 30th. I'll preview that. So your next sales order number will be S12. So it's finding this maintenance contract and we're going to go ahead and create a ticket for that. So we'll just go through the process of printing this and then proceed with the ticket generation. And it's created the work ticket. So now if we go back to our service board, you can see that that ticket was created. Once again, we need to schedule that, assign that to a technician. So I'll go ahead and schedule that and drop that, say, right there. So you could create these work tickets manually or you can do it from this maintenance generation screen. So back to our agenda. So we went through the dispatch board and we've talked about service ticket creation and scheduling. There are several ways to get a hold of us. Here's information for our YouTube channel. We're on LinkedIn. You can search for NIMS and Associates. Our website is www.nimsassociates.com and you can contact us at erp at nimsassociates.com. Thank you very much.